after that first week of using it. I thought, I never want to be without this. I need to have this all the time. So act now, and we'll add these extras. A travel size green tea moisturizer, and our zip zapping refining mask. The refining mask is a zip zapper. You put it on a travel spot, boom, it's done. We'll even add this book of secrets for flawless skin. A combined value of $72 for just $19.95. It's the thing that everyone's heard about, and everyone has seen the commercials, but still like the best kept secret in skincare. Call 1-800-831-9370. That's 1-800-831-9370. Court next case from the dog of the plaintiff brother Chihuahua from the defendant, but it turned out the dog had diabetes. But the defendant says it was just hypoglycemia. It's the case of a Chihuahua. Thank you. Okay, Jessica Rosenberg, you are suing Estelle Purdue? Correct. This is Estelle. Okay, and Donna Pyle? That's my sister. Okay, and you're here for moral support? All right, for $3,768.65 in vet bills, future vet bills, and the cost of a chihuahua that you bought that has had numerous health issues. Okay, tell me what happened here. I went to her home on uh, March 9th to purchase the dog. Have you put, you say this was the first, have there been others since then? Yes, there's been others. So, now, this is this a chihuahua? Yes, he's a long head chihuahua. That was the pictures that she put in his bag. Okay. That I so out. you get the dog and the dog costs you how much? Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Do you have to pay for it from Yes. So I'm the receipt. receipt. For it. And what goes receipt. wrong? On the receipt you'll notice that she did sign her daughter's name. Did you sign your daughter's name on the receipt? Yes, I did. How come? Because I was receiving the money from my daughter, it wasn't the name. I also have um, a bank deposit going into my daughter's bank account. Okay. But uh, is your premise that you don't feel you should be in the lawsuit? My, my sister was here for a number of weeks and something happened at home and she had to unexpectedly go back to Puerto Rico. So she, that's why she wasn't here when the sale was made. Okay. She had placed the ad in his name. My mother didn't have anything to with do with her it. Phone okay. Right. But who's the one who, who sold the dog? You sold the dog. Well, in reality, I was there yeah, to yeah. make the There's exchange. And the, but then you signed. D did you notice that she was signing a name that wasn't her name? I didn't notice that until I told Not later on. Yeah. All right, so you brought the dog home, and what's your dog's name? Uh, Charlie. Charlie. I didn't name the dog. Charlie, a girl or a boy? He's a little boy. Okay, and so what happened? Uh, over the course of three months, um, we have a letter from Sable saying he's diagnosed. Give me the letter for this. But that's people is the more special like that. By June 3rd, the vet that you're seeing, which at the time is Sable Hospital for Animals, mm -hmm. certifies that he's been a patient of theirs, that he's received all appropriate vaccines, mm -hmm. that he has a history of excessive thirst and urination, mm -hmm. that he has diabetes and liver disease, but does not say no, that he has a condition. In fact, they, they never say that. They, further testing is required to determine if these con conditions are congenital. So you take the dog for further testing at the next place. Correct. All right, and the next place is Massapequa. Yes. Massapequa. All right, and, Massa, and the folks at Massapequa, according to you, you say that you take them over there because they're more specialized? Yeah, they, the problems that the dog was having are very unique for a dog with age. And the problem in it to answer a few questions. If you've been thinking about getting life insurance or adding to existing coverage, call New York Life now, and we'll send you free information by mail. Remember, you can apply for this affordable term coverage without visiting a doctor. Your acceptance is based on your answers to three simple health questions. Plus, there's no waiting period. Full benefits of up to $50,000 are payable from the first day your coverage takes effect. And it comes with a 30-day no-risk guarantee. It's also the only life insurance program endorsed by AARP. And it's backed by the strength and stability of New York Life. I feel better knowing we've found the life insurance we need to help cover our bills. Call New York Life at 1-800-532-6611 for free information. We'll even give you this free slim clip on radio just for calling. Not an AARP member? No problem. We'll tell you how to join. 1-800-532-6611. 1-800-532-6611. Certificate benefits and limitations should be carefully examined prior to purchase. From a pet store or for breed or whatever, and the dog had diabetes, would you keep it? Dog that everybody has to do. And that leaves me with up to now, 
$651.68 in medical bills that I think the defendant has to pay. There's an additional $1,900 in testing that now has to happen to be able to care for the dog, and I'm going to order that they pay that as well. I am not going to order them to pay the cost of the dog because you're not giving back the dog, you're not returning the dog, you decide you're going to keep the dog. Because, of course, you've bonded with the dog, and Charlie is your dog now, and you're Charlie's mommy, and you have no intention of giving the dog back. You don't get the cost of the dog. So I find in your favor in the amount of $2,551.68, verdict for the plaintiff. Good luck, folks. Thank you. So let's see what the dog folks have to say coming out on the losing end of the, of the verdict here. First of all, you, what's your reaction to the outcome here? I'm a little disappointed. Tell me why. Well, because of the, the fact that she never showed us the, uh, the second set of vet bills. Mm -hmm. You feel for her situation here? You, oh, you know, I feel for her. I, I have a dog. I own dogs. And uh, so, yeah. I had a sick dog that had, in, uh, had to be on insulin for four more years. <coughs> but, mm -hmm. I know what it's all about. Yeah. I feel bad. Well, you have to, you know. This happy is just an extension Carol and Rich Bird. She says the plaintiff simply got in over his head when he realized how expensive it is to restore a vintage car. She's sorry, but the plaintiff can't just decide to call up a deal on a whim. And friend of the family or not, she's keeping his money. She's accused of being unfair. All parties, please raise your right hand. You're just paying the whole $3,000. Why are you picking up the car and getting the keys and the paperwork right now?